Hello YouTube, I'm Jean and welcome to Crypto Pigs. Today I'm going to do my PTMG analysis on ADU. This seems to be a token everyone is interested in right now because they literally came out of nowhere. Many want to know who their competition is, what they're trying to accomplish, and just basically who are they. Well, we're going to cover that today, so let's get started. Before we begin, let me explain what PTMG stands for. First is the problems I solve, the project idea, potential for generating revenue, the team, the marketing, the market cap, the short slash long term goals, which is pretty much the roadmap. And then I'm going to summarize it all up for you. And of course, today is on ADU. So what are the problems they solve? ADO plans on building a platform that brings everything cryptocurrency related to one centralized location, a decentralized exchange to swap tokens, a secure token wallet, a debit card, an ICO engine, a way to associate addresses to precise digital identities. Basically, it's a super ambitious project, but one that is much needed to draw a bigger crowd to the crypto space. So what is their project idea? ADO's project idea is a multi-currency wallet with a native hybrid exchange, along with numerous tools and features that allow for a user-friendly experience through their mobile app. Their single integrated environment will manage all token automatically without any configuration. Within itself, ADO plans to integrate a system for conversations of the tokens and cryptocurrencies into fiat money to spend with their debit card. Fiat currency will become completely integrated with the ADO wallet. So a little more on the project idea. Pretty much the ADO wallet will be the heart of their project. So the ability to store all tokens. One of their awesome and exciting features is their hybrid decentralized exchange. The exchange of tokens will take place in an atomic way basically an atomic swap. Exchanges take place once both parties have found an agreement on the price between the two assets. Then a smart contract on the chain allows the exchange to take place instantly from wallet to wallet. The ADO team will maintain associated addresses clearly visible to digital identities. Granted, this will reduce some privacy levels, but the user will always be in charge on whether to use these reduced privacy addresses. They will also be adding an ICO engine, which is a service to execute the allowment of new tokens. They make a special contract to participate in the ICO through the ADO app. This makes it simpler and faster, and it's also different from the Mew or MyEther wallet. I, that's what I thought originally this ICO engine was, but I was confirmed that it's not like that. <laughs> if you want to get a little more information, you can talk to them in their Telegram. This part was kind of confusing to me. Now for ADO's potential for generating revenue. The ADO token has a proposition of value centered around a few key concepts. First is the staking of the ADO token on their wallet, which allows the unblocking of premium functions of the interface and gives you the right to obtain bonuses through airdrops. Second, part of their certified turnover on the exchange, the token is used as a fee and a portion of that fee is burned, reducing the total supply. So one of the most important parts is their team. The ADO team is actually pretty big, but they didn't have uh, a superstar to stud a team. The only star I could really find was Marco. He's right here. Marco is the CTO and co-founder of ADO and has a little over 11 years of experience at the University of Bologna as the institutional email service manager, also the system engineer and administrator. He has over 20 years of experience as a system administrator, so he gets a star for his years of experience and working at that university. He also claims to be an, a blockchain expert in his description. <laughs> also, Marco is part of their Ethereum developers, which I'll show a little bit later. Now more on their team, ADO will actually have two teams that were completely separate of each other. Their Ethereum developers will deliver on the Ethereum part of the project, meaning the e ERC tokens, the Ethereum wallet, the hybrid exchange, and also the token sale they had, while the BHB network team will develop a Bitcoin wallet, a decentralized exchange, and a new asset transfer protocol based on the Bitcoin blockchain. The contract with this company has already been signed and is partially paid. And like I said, Marco is the star on this team. The rest of the team has solid developer experience, but no one has any big company experience or significant years in the industry. And that's why I usually give the stars and the superstars. I look for people that worked with Microsoft, 
Apple, Amazon, Oracle, just those huge companies that you know you had to have a pretty good resume just to get in. They didn't have that here. Now their advisors, they only had one advisor. His name is Polo, but I, didn't, I did give him a star since he has been an advisor to Gnosis Limited, Monitha, and many other companies. So he pretty much gets a star because he already has pretty valuable advisor experience. Granted, there's still room to see if those projects actually succeed, but at least he's not a brand new advisor. So Adol's marketing, I feel like this is where they really succeed. Their Twitter is super active. As you can see, they have 262 tweets. They seem to be super active giving updates and announcements, airdrop information, all post on their medium. They put all their blogs here, super active Twitter. It's great to see that. Their Telegram is also super active with two channels, one for announcements and one for the community. You can talk to members of the team there to ask questions. I was talking to, I believe, Amale, who's their community manager there. Definitely super active, super helpful. Their Facebook is also super active, posting the same announcements and updates as Twitter, which is actually super common from all these companies that I've seen so far. Their YouTube, though, is not active, only having two videos from a while ago. Their Medium is super active with announcements and articles from Amale, their community manager. Now their Medium is actually where I got a lot of my information. They have a lot of valuable articles that explain a lot of different things and I, I love that. Now their competition, I was thinking about making this a completely different slide under marketing. I'm not really sure. Kind of want to get some input on, on this one from you guys. Do you like having a... Do you like having a separate slide just for competition? And I can kind of break that down to see what they who they're going against and i mean is that worth it to you if so just let me know in the comments and and, and i'll definitely do that so ado has a lot of competition they have two charts as i posted here to compare which were both on their medium you can see in the first picture they compare to monaco 10x and OMG. <laughs> this chart is interesting because it shows their features, the market value of each token, and you can see the, the feature comparison and it shows that ADO actually has a lot, pretty much the same as OMG with one extra feature. And according to their comparison, <laughs> the more they had, the more the market capitalization was. So it's interesting to see what could happen for them. The second picture they compare with other companies showing more diverse characteristics of the project, but they don't talk about Bitcoins, which I would also put as a competitor. It will be interesting to see how we each of those companies see each other and if they see them as a threat or not. I also plan on doing a Bitcoins versus ADO video, so watch out for that. I also want to note there's a lot of people trying to say that ADO is not a competitor to Bitcoins. I kind of want to know what you guys think about that. I do feel like they're competi competitors and I think it's healthy competition. Hopefully they can push each other to strive for a, a better platform and a better product for us. Now let's talk about their market cap. Right now it's around $22 million, $2.13 and 35,000 sats. Coin market cap shows that 10.7 million circulating supply, 90.7 million total supply, but their white paper says that 30.6 million tokens are not locked. Their white paper also shows a total of 100 million total supply with 69.4 million locked tokens. They will have 20 million unlocked in two years, 15 million in one year, 10 million in two years given to the founders, 8.4 million progressively unlocked for nine months, 6 million in six months, and 6 million in three months that are subject to airdrops with 4 million that are locked for two years for the pre-sale. My jump in point is around 20 million market cap. I do want to jump in on this coin. I just want to make sure I don't jump in too early. For exchanges, they are already on Bitfinex, which is super exciting and super crazy. While they're also on Ether Delta, which I could care less about, I can't stand that exchange and I will not use it. So the roadmap is pretty straightforward. In Q4 of 2017, a hybrid exchange will be created through a smart contract on Ethereum, allowing trading from within the wallet between Ethereum and any ERC-20 token. Q1 of 2018, they will implement a secure, scalable Bitcoin wallet that will support new assets on Bitcoin blockchain protocol. Also, they'll implement their DAP module 
Q2 of 2018, they will integrate the debit card by integrating with the API of banks affiliated by the geographical area. Q3 of 2018, they'll use Lightning Networks that will create a decentralized exchange. They will also integrate personal identity smart cards with a chip issued by governments to permit the users to have special addresses to carry out sender slash receiver transaction, which they'll utilize their partner Oracleize for this. And that's something I do kind of like of this company. And instead of doing everything themselves, they're partnering up with sister companies, which is some people think is a bad thing. I think it's a great thing. Then in 2019, they're just going to keep adding more tokens to their wallet. So to summarize ADO, they have a very ambitious project ahead of them. I really hope they succeed for the sake of cryptocurrency. We need a much more user-friendly system that is more centralized, especially for exchanging tokens. Plus, the healthy competition is always awesome. It brings us a better product and just we need something that will bring the masses to us. They already have a working prototype, which is great. I know a lot of people were pushing this aside saying, oh, it's not that great, but it's working flawlessly. It is super basic, but a working prototype is always awesome to see. They don't have the best team in the world, but they seem to have a very clear plan on how to succeed utilizing their partner company's expertise, which is great. A lot of companies, a lot of big companies do that, outsourcing or whatnot. Remember, do your research and invest wisely. So I did my slides a little bit different today. I would love to get your feedback if you like me summarizing it or when I read off the slides. I just wanna know what is the more, what is less confusing and just easier for you to understand. I love the community involvement. I'm getting messages from people giving me ideas and suggestions. Please keep doing that. Thank you again. Please remember like and subscribe. It's right there. Click it, please. <laughs> I appreciate it and I'll see you next time.